Welcome back to Zondercost. I've let a little bit of time pass, just waiting for something interesting to happen, really. Uh, we got another Forgotten Beast, which is uh, a giant camel that sucks blood, which again is trapped in a cavern that we can't get into. Well, we could, but... I mean, actually, this one did arrive in a place which is inaccessible. It's on the other end of this lake here. So we would have to dig to it. But in any case, migrants have arrived. Which is more interesting than a beast that we can't fight. So, first up is a thresher. Yay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know where they're gonna go. They're gonna go into the military. Um, the deep castles. Now, here's an axe dwarf. But only a competent axe dwarf, which is basically like... What is that? What is that? Level 3 or something? So... Yeah, he's gonna learn how to be a spear dwarf instead. And uh, that does have a uniform, doesn't it? I'm fairly certain. Yes, yes it does. If they can find such things, I did. Uh, I did notice that there was some bits of armor just lying around down here. It looks like they've been picked up now. But yeah, they were forbidden and everything. So, oops. Yeah. So let's see who else. Who else? Where are all the migrants? Uh, right, here you are. Okay, well it says he's become an axe dwarf because I've hired him in the military, but... Yeah... Right, you are a herbalist and a metal crafter. Uh, <laughs> I, I just can't think of anything less useful. Like, we'd never use metal crafting. I... Uh, what is that? Just like, making metal crafts and... Yeah, because I think anything furniture related is, um... Uh, blacksmithing, that's the one. Right, you can be a mason then, I guess. And I guess a miner, but I don't know if we have enough pickaxes for that. Another thresher, for Christ's sake. Alright, you are a good marks dwarf, so... Animal dissector, trapper, and thresher, but you don't have the hunting skill. Oh, you do have it enabled, actually. Uh, okay, right. Plant processing. No. Right, so you're going to go in a Marksdorf squad if we have a gap. Uh, we don't really, but... Yeah, I could always put you in here and make you a hammer dwarf. <laughs> and just assign you a crossbow. But no, I think, what's the bronze sensors looking like? Yeah. I don't know, I'll just, I'll stick you in the static attics. It'll be fine. Right, so there we go. Another thresher in the military. I'm not sure. Whoops, you are now naked. Why did you drop your crossbow? And your quiver? And your bolts? Why? Uh, they must have no uniform. I'm gonna check that. Right, uh, leather... No? You have a uniform, and it is set to overclothing, so... <laughs> He's just like, naked time. Right, what is this guy? Competent mace dwarf, milker, grower, and beekeeper. Um, right, this this is a squad with deep castles. You do need one more. Right, you are going to learn how to be a hammer dwarf. Simply for the fact that I can't be bothered changing your uniform. All I need to do is make him a weapon and swap it out. But yeah, that's just how lazy I am. Oh well, right. Farming fields? Do you see fields? Do you see milk? Do you see keeps to be? No. None of that stuff is here. Alright, yeah, you dropped your clothes as well. What? What is that? You are a gem setter. Oh, you're a shearer. Okay, another Marks Dwarf. Um, um, novice Trapper and Shearer. Animal care. No, we do not care for animals. Uh, no shearing. Right, so I'm gonna throw you in the bronze sensors as well, actually. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter how many you put in the Markstorf squad, I don't think. I mean, it does. You, you get the same sort of training things going on, but... Right, uh, I think we've padded the military enough for today, so what do you do? Gem setter. I suppose, I mean, I honestly just don't ever do that anymore. There doesn't really seem to be much need. I mean, we can make an enormous amount of, like, gold statues and shit like that, so... Uh, be a mason. 
Oh, it's Dodie Taylor. Yay. Right, what is this? This adorable animal can't work. Oh, it's somebody's pet as well? Uh, well, that's probably going to die, so well done for bringing your pets that will die. Alright, another thresher. Um, okay. <laughs> I've got my eye on you. That's a lot of skills. A very lot of skills. Uh, a member of the Entangled Board, former member of the Unswerving Papers. She is a former member of the Light Glaze. Uh, not particularly well travelled. Do they have an enormous kill list? They do not. Yeah, I don't know, I was just looking at them thinking it might be a vampire, but... Let's see, they are a great thresher, adequate weaponsmith. That's pretty useful. But yeah, otherwise... They look, they look suspicious, but their history is not excessively uh, strange, so... I will leave them as a weaponsmith, those are useful. Right, you're a siege operator. That is useless. You also have quite a few skills here. Let's have a look at this. Member of the Tango Board. Former member of the Trust Armors. Former member of the Light Glees. And you arrived here now. Well, okay. His skin is Ecru. I don't know what color that is. But, um, yeah, apparently that Forgotten Beast is Heliotrope as well that just arrived. Which is also apparently a colour. I thought it was a shape. I was just like, you know... Heliotrope? How many sides does that have? Actually, yeah, you can be a butcher still. Uh, no spinning, you'll get dizzy. No siege operating. Yeah, masonry. General buildy person. Come on. Right, a uh, child. Why would you bring your child here? Yes, utterly useless. Uh, 25 years old? Well, how about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't they don't grow up outside of the fort, you know? Because the world... I mean, we what's the year now? We haven't looked at that for a while. The year is 166, so we've been here for 15 years. So yeah, when the world gen stopped, they were... 10? Yeah, 10. So... They were still a child, so as soon as they have a birthday, they'll become an adult. But yeah, it's just the quirks of the world gen at work there. It's a bit strange. But yeah, other than migrants arriving, things are quiet. So I'm going to wait for these guys to get in. Let some time pass, see if any of them are vampires, and then lock them in the vampire hole if they are. You are moving really slow. What's the problem? Uh, whoops, didn't mean to follow you. Always hitting the wrong keys. Uh, yeah, novice armor user. That would probably be it. You're also rusty at it. Really? Um, are you the guy that just arrived? Yeah, you are. Okay, well, that's fine then. Have you got... Yeah, you've got some armor, so... I don't know. I, hold on. Why do you have a crutch? Pine crutch in your right hand. Uh, what exactly... Ability to stand lost. What's wrong with you? Uh, your right hand set. Blah blah blah. Go chip some plaster on your right hand. Why can't you walk? I don't understand. Um, oh right, yeah, because you lost a foot. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that was the that was the one with the slightly damaged hand that would never leave the hospital. Well, they're out of the hospital, so I guess they're gonna have to become a legendary crutch walker, because I'm not taking them out of the military. <laughs> uh, we gotta defend the fort, so yeah, you are in the crystal and straps then, right? Competent axe dwarf. Do I have a better one somewhere I could replace him with? Well, we do have this person, actually. Um... Yeah, I think that would probably be worthwhile. So, Moldath, I think we need to... I probably can't just do this directly, can I? No, because they're a militia ca camp... Blah! Militia captain. So what I would have to do is completely fucking dissolve this squad. 
or at least get these out of here. And I'm just not going to do that now. Actually, I'll just do it off camera. I was going to pause the recording anyway. I'm really just waiting for a siege to arrive. Okay, so I've let quite a bit of time pass, and uh, this animal trader with the broken spine, he just... He dragged himself down here, because he's possessed, and he wanted to claim a workshop. I thought for a moment he'd claim one of the magma forges, but he's actually claimed the... the glass furnace. And uh, he's dragging himself off to grab some stuff, because yeah, I, I, my heart sank a little bit when he claimed the glass furnace, because I was just like, well, we don't have any sand, but... I guess we do, because off he goes. Oh, I think he might be grabbing some gems. Is that what you're getting? Yeah. I think he might make like a gem window or something. Okay, we've run out of adamantine strands. My miners are too lazy to dig. There it is, big square. Go dig it. But yeah, really interested to see what this guy comes up with out of a gem in a glass magma workshop <laughs> but it's gonna take him a while to get around he's just kind of holding the gem in his teeth sort of dragging himself along and yeah I traded with the humans as well it's it's actually now winter or oh, autumn sorry and I bought all of their drinks and some food off them because we were running a little bit low we had about 400 and something drinks but now we have 1300 so we're fine there but yeah, other than that, still no sign of a siege. Now, oh, here we go. Alright, tree life, stone rock, leather skin, cloth thread, blocks, bricks, raw green. Right, so he's got the raw green stone rock, yeah. It's um, the bricks that he wants. He wants bricks. Fuck. <laughs> um, right. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, well, I, I, there, are, there is clay somewhere on the map. Somewhere on the map there is clay. I'm fairly... Excuse me. Fairly certain of that. But where it is, I couldn't say. That's just the middle of a workshop, isn't it? Um, yeah... Let's have a look in stocks. It will be under stones, would it not? Yes, it would. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Where is ice? Aha. Clay. I think the humans have it, actually. Yeah, that would be where that's pointing to. Have they embarked on their journey? No, they will be leaving soon. Alright, let's quickly request a trader. Uh, he said quickly. 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 Right. Trade. Uh, yeah, I may end up having to trade like a serrated disc for some clay, because that's all we have. Uh, shit. Oh well. Well, I might as well buy all of it, right? Uh, is there anything else that I could buy? I suppose I could just randomly buy all of your gems, but... So I already bought all of their precious metals, so... I don't know. The lengths I go to, to my, for my dwarves. I'll buy these blocks. Some of them are quite nice. Alright, there we go. Trade. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, piss off. Yeah. I mean, they tried to negotiate for that serrated disc as well. But... Right, now we want... No, it's under furnaces. Magma kiln. Now, where is the impassable tile? It's gonna mess up the look of my workshops here, so... Right, okay. Mind that. And do it immediately. But they're not gonna do it, are they? Uh, yeah, I suppose... Um, what's that one there? Magma smelter. Which hole is impassable on that one? It's the same one, isn't it? Okay, well, instead of building one of those, or digging a hole, I mean, I'll just remove that. Uh, cancel that. Because, yeah, my miners all seem to be strand extractors as well, so... Yeah, that takes them a while. But, yeah, we're in Operation Stop a Guy from Going Crazy right now. So, if somebody would come in over here, dismantle the thing? No? Nope. 
Where are you going? Oh, you're stockpiling something. Ah, here we go. And... Go smash. I hope nobody was sleeping in the hospital. Yeah, we do have a slight shortage of... Uh, beds at the moment. Right. Magma kiln. There we go. Um, where are the blocks that are right next to it? Oh, somebody's just decided to... Store it in a stockpile, most likely. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Use an iron bar, whatever. We'll probably dismantle it at some point anyway, so... Uh, interrupted by Forgotten Beast. Erg? Okay. They're fine. It's just on the bottom of the stairs. Right. Somebody... Are you building? No, you're going to sleep in the hospital. Uh, okay. Please stop getting interrupted. Anybody gonna come build this thing? Come on, I don't want this guy to go crazy. He wants bricks. Aha, here we go. Right, I suppose I need to... What are you? Because... You may end up just getting a job. <laughs> right now. Right, you're a cook. Okay, you are also now... A... Thing? Pottery. <laughs> oh. Design it? No, it's just designed it, but uh... Wait, needs any metalsmithing? Really? Okay, well, if you say so. Hmm... Come on, somebody get it over here. This is the most exciting thing that's happening right now. We're trying to build a kiln. <laughs> so we can make some beautiful pottery crafts. Alright, here we go. Alright, this guy's gonna get the uh... Pottery task as well. Because nobody else is going to come over here and do it. Right. Build. 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 And where is Bricks? There we go. Bricks. Yes? No? Oh, he just he moved then. He was just like, oh, do I go make Bricks? No, I'm going to run away. Right. Somebody will get over here and make Bricks. They are doing it. Yes. I guess somebody else claimed the job before him, so... Yeah, we gotta wait for them to grab the clay, I guess. Man, because I just really want to see what he's making out of gems and bricks and all of the other stuff that he wants. But I honestly think he's just gonna pass out or something. He's he's really drowsy, so... I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. Right, somebody is coming. Ah, I see you carrying that lump of clay. Right, so it was the guy, actually, who was down here, and he did decide to do it. But, uh, he obviously didn't have what he needed. Come on. You just gotta make one brick, and then he'll be like, Oh, yes, yeah, the brick right next to me. And drag himself over there. I don't know how long it takes to bake bricks. It should take a while, though, because he's not skilled in the slightest. I wonder why my frame rate is down to 62 at the moment. I'm gonna blame the caravan. No, you don't want the bricks. Is somebody hauling it? Get off the bricks! <laughs> like, as soon as that was made, somebody went, Oh, a brick outside of a stockpile. Nom! Just put it down! Drop it! There we go. Right, you've got bricks. Oh, he's not moving. Blocks, bricks. Raw green. That's the first thing you got. And then metal bars is next. Um, yeah. Oh, it's the glass, actually, that he got. I thought it was gems. But yeah, he's got the glass. So that was the first thing. Um, it may possibly be a case of needing two glasses, because metal bars... Uh, is after it. Um, do we have another raw green glass? It's unlikely. Raw clear glass. Raw crystal glass. Oh, fuck. Raw clear glass. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to check to see if we have any sand. Where is that? Powder? White sand. Right, that's in the uh, caravan. <laughs> so, this caravan has everything we need. Fuck. Um, so yeah, they're not trading. 
I, mean, I could try and steal their shit, but I doubt it would work. Uh, fuck. Right, I don't, I don't really know what to do then. I guess the guy's gonna go insane. And uh, they made him the brick and everything. But I am gonna check show mood in DF hack. Yeah, he actually wants three raw green, raw green glass. So yeah, he's fucked. No. Oh, that was really exciting there. That was like uh, defusing a bomb in an action movie. Like, oh, we got three seconds to make a brick. <laughs> but no, he's boned. Uh, we don't have what he needs. Uh, I'm just trying to. No, there's no. No, no, no. Rough gems. Oh, hold on. Well, no. You see, they're all in the car caravan, so. And there is no sand anywhere, is there? In. Caverns? I don't think so. I mean, we can't really get down here anyway. But yeah, this is muddy cavern floor. But that'll just be marble or orthoclays or whatever. What is that? We run out of raw adamantine. We're supposed to be mining it. But yeah, the caravan is leaving. My frame rate's going back up. So yeah, I don't. Oh, you see, I normally have these things lying around for strange moods, but. I guess I neglected the raw glass. I didn't really ever expect anybody to require three of one specific colour. So, yeah, I'm just desperately trying to think where else I could get green glass from, but... Uh, alas, I don't think we're going to. I have arrows there. Oh, it's just a bin. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to wait for this guy to uh, go crazy then. In the meantime, we've got more migrants. Two migrant waves in one episode. What is this? Uh, stone worker. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the old profile. A former member of the Bell of Justifying. Right, you don't look uh, especially suspicious. But you do have some crappy farm labors that we don't need. Milling and shit. Right. Uh, but yeah, they look like a really good stone worker. And we've got a furnace operator here as well, which is always useful. Uh, former member of the Bell of Justifying also. I guess that's where they've migranted from. Uh, furnace operator, trapper... Alright, let's get rid of those ones. And... What else? Shearing, spinning, beekeeping... Yeah, I mean, that's a relatively suspicious number of uh, skills you got there, but... Um, what have I got here? Another gem setter. This is your only job. Well done. Fantastic. Be those things as well. Alright, so we've got a, a diagnostician. Uh, you can continue doing that. In fact, I'll turn off your hauling. Uh, RSI. <coughs> right, and we got... A llama, slaughter, a uh, blue pea chick, you're fine, you won't starve to death, because you don't eat, ever. Well, I eat insects, which just sort of perpetually spawn. So I'm going to yak calf. Uh, what are you, fishery worker? Uh, okay, get rid of those things. Don't need to be a fishy person. Uh, healthcare, yeah, those are the normal ones. Alright, B, Mason, and Engraver. Anybody else? Oh, bugger off. <laughs> oh, it's made of glass. Allow me to smash you to pieces and give it to that guy in the magma thing. Uh, an enormous quadruped composed of crystal glass, a twisted jointed trunk, a bloated body. Beware it's webs. I, I just never ever want to fight web swingers, they're horrible. So yeah, who's that last guy that came through? An administrator. Fantastic. Uh, a former member of the Ardent Staff and the Mortal Swords. Also the Curled Diamonds. So they've been around a little bit, but... Adequate organizer, talented tracker. Interesting. 
Yeah, if I didn't already have a manager, you would indeed be the manager. But nope, you will just be made a mason, and oh god, there's more of them. Good gravy. Right, what are you? Everything. Uh, lots of... Oh, you're a novice swimmer? Wow. Your name is Dwell Paddles as well. <laughs> uh, is the former outpost liaison of the stake of books? Well, I don't know if he's been here before. I mean, if anybody wants to look through all of the old videos. <laughs> uh, don't, don't do that. Right, engineering, no. Useless. Stoneworking, yes. Um, yeah, so many... So many social skills. I guess you need them to be an outpost liaison. A spear dwarf. Uh, and a lot of other things. Yeah, looking a little bit fishy. Oh, lower right back teeth is gone. But yeah, this person right here would be a vampire. Uh, I think that's pretty... Wait, what was that? Former member of the legendary Tomb of Morality. Oh... Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna run curse check in DF hack. And yes, I was correct. They are a vampire. It's pretty fucking easy to tell when they basically announce it to the world by saying, you know, I've been everywhere and I've killed like ten billion people. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna add them to the thing. So I'm gonna customize them. Customize their name. Uh, what do I call them? Um, suck face. <laughs> there we go. Right, um, they're still coming. I mean, we've hit our population cap. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, whatever. Do stuff. There you go. Don't do fishy things. No. Right, so burrows. Vampire hole. We're gonna add a citizen. No, that's not what we want. I always forget how to make these work. Alright, a search. What the hell did I call him? Suckface, that's it. Or oh, her, actually. It is a woman. Alright, so we gotta unlock the door, but... Oh, bollocks. I can't... Yeah, last time I did that, they got out and ate about five people. So, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, so lie maker. Skill tracker. Uh, well, yeah, you can keep making lie. I might as well give you those things as well. Uh, butchery. Um, cooking. There you go. You can be the soap maker that we don't need. Right. So where uh, where is that vampire gone? Are they still arriving? Alright, so we've got a baby llama. Right, let's suck face. You are just standing there, actually, because you can't get into your burrow. Ah, uh, well, okay. Permit passage. It's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. But we shall see. Right, where did you go? Are you still stood there? Yes, you are. For fuck's sake. Okay. Hmm. But anyway, what's our population up to now? 105. Now, oh, I set the population cap at 100. You guys, you can't count. Silly dwarves. Yeah, I don't think they're coming over here, are they? Oh, well, they've moved. Right, where is it you're going? No job, okay. I think they're going to their burrow. Are these guys sitting still? They are. Oh god, what are you doing? Don't go in there. <laughs> okay, are you... Oh, what's happening there? I think everybody just decided to... Ah, yes, we've slaughtered an animal, that's what happened. Ah, oh, they're a nice cooperative vampire, isn't that nice? Lock the door, make sure it is the right person. Yes, it is Suckface. Along with Bloodsucker, Pointy Tooth, and Fangface. So yeah, I think I'll wrap the episode up there. Lots of migrants, still no sieges, but we have a nice collection of vampires to play with at some point. And this guy is probably going to go mental, which is exactly why these military guys are stationed there. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.